Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this episode of Missing Parts Monday, I thought I'd show you how I make the little screws that hold the metacarpal bases onto the socket. So let's get started. For these parts, I'll be starting with the length of 3 8 inch 1018 cold roll steel. The first step is to turn the blank from 3 8 of an inch to 0.3 for the major diameter of the head of the screw. From there, I'll turn a 0.2 by 0.17 diameter step that will eventually become the threaded portion of the screw. Now that I have the step to size, I break the corners with a fine single cut file and make sure the next step goes a little easier. The next tool is one of my favorites. It's called a geometric die head. They come in two different styles, automatic and fixed, and a variety of different sizes. The one I'm using here is a 5 16 automatic. The automatic version is really cool because once the thread is complete, the die head opens up so you don't need to stop and reverse the lathe like when you're using a conventional die. For these parts, I break the threading process into two different steps, a rough and a finish. The really neat thing about using the adjustable die head is that you can make the threads just about any size, undersized to oversized, just by adjusting the closing stops. For the roughing of these threads, I have the die head set plus five thousandths. Notice on the adjustable chasing die, I'm using the side that is square. I do this so that I have finished threads all the way up to the shoulder. Now that I have the threads, I need to cut the shoulder for the 3 8 by 3 16 flange bearing. So I touch off the leading edge, zero the DRO, and start the tenth of an inch deep cut. Now I break out the micrometer and check for the 0.1875 diameter. So close. One more pass. And then break the edges with a file. Next, check the fit. Notice it fits all the way square with the shoulder. Now to the part. Oh, dang it. Now I have to go digging for the screw. Luckily I found it pretty quickly. Now swap out the 5C collets for the 3 16 so I can grab the shoulder of the screw. Put the screw in the collet and carefully tighten it up. Not too much, we don't want to crush it. Now use the parting insert to remove the pit. And then a quick cleanup pass. Now I radius the corners with a fine tooth file. The next operation takes place over on my Toskarim vertical mill. To cut the slot, I'll be using a 3 3 inch slitting saw mounted in a 3 quarter straight shank arbor. I'll be holding the screw in the horizontal V groove of the 3 inch toolmaker's vise from the surface grinder. Now align the center of the saw vertically with the center mark on the screw. Touch off the tool, run it in 35 thousandths or so, and climb mill the cut. Then a cleanup pass. And we're done. In the end, I'll probably blue these screws with light heat from a torch. 
Well, that's all I have for this episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And if you have time, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.